If buying a home is in your future, you might be grappling already with how do you accumulate a down payment. Regardless of where your down payment funds might be coming from, it's a really helpful exercise for any buyer to evaluate their budget, make sure you know what your monthly cash flow is, and that you are eliminating wasteful expenses and saving money wherever possible. If you're a first time home buyer, or even sometimes if you're not, depending on the program, you may be able to access down payment assistance or some sort of grant to help you bridge the gap. If you have family where you are fortunate enough to have access to gift funds from family members, Members, those are an acceptable source of down payment as well. And for some of you who have a lot of money saved up in retirement, maybe not a lot liquid elsewhere, you can draw potentially on your retirement funds or your 401k to accumulate money for a down payment. In any case, it's really important that you just have a handle on the numbers. You know what's expected of you between down payment and closing costs. And we can have that conversation very early on to make sure that when you're strategizing for all of this, you're dealing with real figures.